Hi Pisces, this is your October 2019 reading. It's a pick a card. This is pile number one, this is pile number two, this is pile number three. If you need to pause the video, go ahead and pause it, but I'm going to get right in. Now, Now, Pisces, I'm already sensing that for a lot of Pisces, this is going to be a loving month, but also like a thrill ride happy month. Sorry, I needed to center myself before doing the reading. Five of Cups, Nine of Wands, Skull of Light, Jack o' Lantern. Fairy lovers. Carry me home. Golden gift. Fairies. Two of emotion. Forgiving and learning. Romantic feelings. Getting to know each other. And playfulness. All right, Pisces. So I feel like this group of Pisces has someone new coming into their life this October that is going to make them feel super happy. And they're one again, I want to get to know you really well. Now, if you're in a current relationship, you should probably choose another pile because this, this is a pile for singles. This, this is a single pile. This is definitely a new person. All right, so for those of you that chose this pile, you have someone new coming into your life that is going to be very romantic with you. They're going to be very kind with you. They're going to want to take you out on dates. They're going to be very playful with you. Um, and they're going to walk you through hard times if you have them. Um, the other thing I am getting is that you guys have been having some struggles, some anxieties, some worries, some fears. You guys have been just having a lot of struggles. You guys have been overthinking things a lot. Um, you guys have had one thing happen after another, and you're kind of like, when is it going to stop? You know, is, is this stuff going to stop, or are more people going to piss me off? And you're being told that it's okay. It's going to be okay. You're going to be protected and safe. It's all going to be okay. Um, what I'm getting is with everything happening, one thing after another, this was given to you so that you could gain some clarity on yourself and to, so, so that you could gain strength. You know, I feel like you, you needed strength. You, you needed to see your strength and the fact that you're still standing after this one thing after another proves that you do have the strength to get through anything. Um, the other thing I'm getting is, like, I feel like you guys need to enjoy some time outside during October, if you can, like a little bit of time outside. Or maybe work with rose water or rose oil. It may calm you. I feel like it's time. It's time to allow others to help you instead of you always helping others. So I feel like you're the type that, um, sorry, always helps others. I'm sorry. I had some guinea pig hair up my nose. They were in a, they were a guest star in my last reading, but I feel like you guys were, um, taking care of others more than you were taking care of yourself. And now it's time to let people help you. It's time to let people help you. I feel like you're the type of person that you're kind of like, oh, well, let me help you, let me help you, let me help you. And then when people want to help you, you kind of push them away and say, no, I got this. I got this. But then when somebody gives you a hug, you are like, okay, I like hugs. I love this. That's awesome. So what I'm also getting is when this person comes to you, they're going to get to know you. They're going to be very romantic. Don't be afraid to let them in. 
don't be afraid to let them help you through rough times because I feel like this person that is coming towards you is going to help you through rough times. They're going to be like a love of a life, you know? They're going to be a love of a life. You know? I feel like your friendships are also going to deepen in October. You're finally going to see, okay, well, I can have friends help me. I can do this. You know? I feel like there's somebody in your past that you need to forgive. And then for some of you, you're learning that romance and love does exist again. Um, I feel like you guys were in this moment where you're like, does love still exist? And I feel like you guys are going to learn that love does still exist. And that um, you can have love. You do deserve love. I feel like you're being guided. Yeah, to take steps ahead. towards I just, I just, I bettering yourself yeah, and also like, letting yourself yeah. receive no, so because like, sometimes you guys don't so many, let yourself receive help from others so really you, you essentially people. sometimes yeah. block yeah. that love but what I'm getting is this person isn't going to let you push them away they're going to want to be there yeah. for you through thick and thin no matter what Pisces so you guys have a good month ahead of you this was short and sweet i wasn't expecting a very short and sweet reading but it was a very short and sweet reading but that's all i've got for you pisces for your october 2019 i'm going to move on to pile number two for those of you that chose pile number two we have worth waiting for let go of control issues Free yourself. New love. I just heard rebirth. I just heard rebirth. Successful completion. We have to hurry. Why? Because the demon's coming to take you. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Visualize success. Letting go into the woods, her special place, hearth, death, knight of court, swords, and seven of cups. Okay, so what I'm getting is you guys have had some friends that walked out of your life. You guys have had some friends that have walked out of your life because they've got other stuff going on. They've got other things going on in their life and they've kind of walked out of your life. And they've kind of just let you be. And I feel like some of you guys try to reach back out to these people that have kind of uh, walked out of your life a little bit. Um, and just kind of like they don't even talk to you anymore or they hardly talk to you at all or they just don't really pay attention to you. Like you guys may have had a friend that just, some, some of you may have even had a friend that, that kind of stopped talking to you because they met a love interest or met a new crowd. Um, may, maybe they met a new crowd or met a new love interest. And so they kind of walked away from you. Um, because they were focusing on their own life. They were focusing on other people in their life. They were focusing on everything else in their life. I feel like someone you love has put you through something. Um, and you need to free yourself from it. And you need to look towards the people that do love you. Okay. Um, I'm getting that you will find new people that walk into your life. Um, in October... You may meet some new people somewhere, whether it's out in public, whether it is um, out hmm. I feel like it might even be in video games for some of you. You could even meet somebody at the bus stop. You could meet somebody somewhere. Maybe you're going to be invited to a party or invited somewhere and you're going to meet people. Okay, so the other thing that I am getting is there are some of you that are in 
a current connection right now. Um, a current love connection right now. And this person may have been in and out because they have a lot of priorities. They have a ton of priorities. They have so much on their mind. I feel like they have a lot of anxiety as well. Um, I feel like they've been dealing with a lot of anxiety and I'm getting a really tired feel, a wiped out feel. And that is why they've kind of been in and out is because I feel like they have so much going on that by the time they're done with everything, they're exhausted and they just want to go to bed. And so they may not be quite talking to you enough. And what I am being told to tell you is that this person is worth waiting for. And you kind of just need to let go of control issues. Don't try to control the situation. Don't, don't try to say, oh, well, I want you to talk to me more. Oh, I want you to do this. Oh, well, such, such, such. Don't try to control the situation. Don't try... To know everything about the situation all the time. Don't try to control it. Just kind of let it happen. I am getting let it happen and it will come much more smoothly for you. But this person is worth waiting for that you are in a current connection with. Um, the connection that you're seeking with this person. I feel like some of you may want to take it all the way to marriage. Because I am drawn to this person kneeling before this person. I did hear rebirth. In the beginning of the reading. So this person will come back. This person will pursue things with you. They will. But I feel like right now. Um, this person just has a lot going on. And the other thing I'm getting is you need to free yourself from the people. That you thought cared about you. And walked away from you. And just kind of let them be. Um, I feel like you guys may have had a loved one that was kind of, you know, harsh to you and you had to kind of take back control of your life. I feel like you guys have new opportunities coming in your life. You have new people coming into your life that you'll get along with and make friends with and... I'm getting, I'm really hearing family, family meeting. Yeah, stranger in strange land, new experiences. So you do have new people coming into your life, very new people coming into your life. And I feel like you're going to experience a lot more happiness in your home. You're going to experience a lot more happiness, happy times. And I feel like the reason why they're telling why they're telling you that this person is actually worth waiting for and not to control it is so that it can come to you quickly. And then we have the eternal cycle begins here. So I feel like this love has the potential to be very eternal. Um, be very yeah. lifelong to where you can have happiness in the homes. I feel like there is also something you're waiting for to happen in your love life. Um, for some of you, there are new love proposals. Like, um, you know, like... Somebody, I feel like, I feel like with the new love, I feel like somebody may finally be admitting their feelings to you as well. Um, if you're waiting for somebody, but I feel like they're saying this love is worth waiting for. There's something you need to let go of and detach from. I feel like you need to let go and detach so that you can have what you want. You kind of need to let go and let things happen so that you can have what you want. And they're saying that you guys have been trying to manifest somebody that's kind of been in and out and has a, had a lot of priorities. Maybe they're a workaholic. I feel like they have a lot of priorities. They could even be a parent. And um, 
what you do, need to do right now is for yourself take control back take take control of your life and kind of create your safe space for yourself find your own safe haven find your own space where you can feel at peace with yourself i do see with the knight of swords i feel like this person is going to come back with honesty about their feelings I'm getting that some of you guys are afraid that this person will find a new person and I don't feel like that's the the situation. See yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome. So you guys kind of need to just feel like you're going to have success and then you'll have success. I feel like you're completing a cycle and moving into a new cycle. Like with the new love, I feel like you're moving into a new cycle. Is there anything this person that they've been waiting for would like to say to them? Is there anything this person that they've been waiting for would like to say to them? Okay. So I am afraid you fake your feelings. Is there anything this person that Pisces has been waiting for that would, would like to say to them? Is there anything that Pisces, that the person Pisces has been waiting for would like to say to them? Wow. Okay. Is there, is there anything the person that Pisces has been waiting for would like to say to them? Okay. I am committed to you. Is there anything that Pisces, that the person that Pisces has been waiting for wants to say to them? Is there anything that the person Pisces has been waiting for wants to say to them? Is there any person that this group of Pisces person, is there anything that this group's person wants to say to them that they've been waiting for? Is there anything that this group's person that they've been waiting for wants to say to them? Is there anything this group's person that they've been waiting for wants to say to them? Okay, I want a relationship with you. Okay, so I feel like this person has been through a lot and they're afraid of people faking their feelings because they had somebody betray them in the past, I feel like. But they're committed to you and they do want a relationship with you. But I feel like they may have had people fake their feelings in the past and stuff like that. Is there one more card that I can get? Thank you. You're not just a friend. You are someone I view as a life partner. So I feel like this is somebody that you've had a deep friendship with as well. Um, maybe you guys started out as friends with benefits for a little while because they had so many priorities. And maybe they just wanted to start with friends with benefits. Um, so I feel like this was a friends with benefits situation. And now, okay, okay, now, th thank you, I'm understanding it. So where this started as a friends with benefits situation, this person now views you as somebody that they can actually have a long-lasting relationship with. Um, and so that, that explains the new love card. So... Whereas you guys were kind of just doing friends with benefits before, now this is blossoming into uh, a love, which is why this says new love. I feel like this person is finally seeing that they do have romantic feelings for you. They do want a relationship with you. They do want to move forward with you. And that's what they're seeing. So I feel like, yeah, this was a friends with benefits situation. You're not just a friend, you're someone I view as a life partner. Yeah. Let me pull one more card. Can I get one more card of what their person that they've been waiting for wants to say to them? Wow, that's too many. One more card about what their person wants to say to them. Okay, this one fell out. I want to dance with you, fell out. Is there one? Okay, pull one more. Because I want an even number. What does their person that they've been waiting for want to say to them? What does this group's person that they've been waiting for want to say to them? What does this group person that they've been waiting for want to say to them? Okay. Please don't give up on me. So I feel like this person, they have been in and out so much that they are afraid you are going to give up on them. 
but they actually want to spend quality time with you because we got, I want to dance with you. So I feel like this person wants to actually spend quality time with you, but they've been so in and out because they've been so busy with other priorities. But now they're deciding they want a relationship and I feel like they're afraid you're going to give up on them, which explains the, I'm afraid you fake your feelings. They don't want somebody that's going to fake their feelings. They don't want somebody that's going to give up on them. So this person doesn't want you to give up on them. Okay. This person doesn't want you to give up on them. And I feel like this person is afraid of you letting go and moving on from them. And I feel like you are also afraid of this person letting go and moving on from you and finding someone new. But I feel like you guys have the same fear. I feel like this person is afraid to lose you and you are afraid to lose them. It's going both ways. But really... Damn, it's okay. No, that is anything but okay. What's wrong? What you're being shown is that this is an eternal person. This is the person that you can be with eternally. Let me pull you another Halloween oracle. I don't know. I'm just being called to pull another Halloween oracle on this situation. Blind spots. So I feel like this person's going to surprise you because they had paused for a little while. They had put a pause on this relationship for a while. Okay. So this person's going to like blindly surprise you. Um, they're going to surprise you and I feel like they may admit their feelings to you. Community and web weaving. So I feel like they may surprise you with randomly I feel like this person kept you a secret from their family for a little while <laughs> and you knew it and you're like am I gonna be a secret forever I feel like this person is gonna surprise you and say hey come meet my family um finally and then forgiveness reducing the burden so and I feel like this is gonna reduce the burden on your relationship and allow you guys to start exploring new things together, exploring your wild side together. I feel like for some of you, there is kinky sex in your future. I'm just going to put that out there for you. But this, this person's like going to blindly surprise you. Say, hey, come meet my family. Just random. It's, it's going to be like out of the blue. Like you guys could be like... Since this is a friends of benefits situation, I feel like you guys could just have sex and then just randomly you'll be sitting there cuddling. You ready to meet you? And, and, and they'll like say, you ready to meet my family? I'm ready for you to meet my family. And just kind of like blindside you with it and say, hey, come meet my family. So I feel like they are going to surprise you um, by just randomly asking you to meet their family and randomly saying, okay, I'm ready now. I've realized I have these romantic feelings for you and I want to start a new chapter in like, so I'm getting new chapter. What I'm hearing is new chapter. So I'm getting, they want to start a new chapter with you, an eternal chapter an an eternal cycle begins here. They want to end the no communication and, or the limited communication and end the secrets and come into this new romantic relationship. They're ready to have this romantic relationship with you. They want to end all the worries, furies, if, if, furies. They want to. They they want to end all the worries, the fears, the anxieties. They they want to end all of that. They don't want. They don't want to have to fear anymore. So I feel like they're letting go of their fear so that they can begin a lifelong cycle with you. And I feel like this is, this is like, it's just going to come randomly where they say, okay, I'm ready for a relationship now. I'm ready for you to meet my family. I'm ready to see you more often. I'm ready to do this and that and this and that. And like, it's just like all of a sudden they're going to come in and be like, I'm ready. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like you need to free yourself and just kind of do your own thing. And then they'll just randomly rush on in. They'll randomly rush on in and say, oh, hey, you know, I, I, I know I kind of probably made you feel like I don't care as much. But you know what? I do care. I, I really do 
I really do care about you. I really do love you. I really do want this relationship with you. I feel like they're just going to blurt it out. I feel like it's just going to come out in the heat of the moment. They're just going to blurt it out and say, hey, you want to meet my family? I'm ready for this relationship now. It's like it's just going to kind of blurt, blur, be blurted out and it's going to catch you off guard because you guys are probably going to be doing something that doesn't even involve family and then all of a sudden, hey, you want to meet my family? It's just going to be very random where they're finally going to say they're ready for a relationship with you. But this is a friend with benefits situation. Anyways, that's all I got for pile number two. I'm going to move on to pile number three. All right, we've got the six of pentacles. The eight of swords. Midnight. Eternal love. Beautiful. Barnabas and the prince. Snail's pace. Slow and steady wins the race is what I'm hearing. Secret doorway. Emotional sensitivity. Eight of emotion. Aww. Stay optimistic about your love life. Past life relationship. Give your relationship a chance. Love yourself first. Okay. All right. Okay. So I'm see. I'm so sorry, Pisces. I didn't realize that it was gonna be this. Um. So, what I'm getting is there was somebody that walked away from you, broke your heart when you thought that it was eternal love, and you really gave this relationship a chance. Um, you really stayed optimistic about it. You gave the relationship a chance, but I feel like you guys were, were like feeling like, oh, well, I don't deserve this person. Like you guys had this in your head where you used to tell yourself you didn't deserve the person because you didn't love yourself. And I feel like that's part of the reason you lost the person is because you felt like you didn't deserve the person. And so you lost the person and you put that energy out to the universe. Okay um that you don't deserve them but i feel like now this person left you need to love yourself first so that you can get the eternal love that you want okay i feel like somebody did leave in the past and they were a karmic situation they made you cry a lot um, they made you feel very undeserving of everything. And so you felt even more undeserving of this person because they made you feel undeserving of everything. Well, now it's time to follow your intuition. Take it slow, take it easy, and love yourself first, okay? You need to find something that makes you happy. Find something that makes you passionate about life again. Um, whether it's discovering new things that you can try to have fun with or whatever, you need to get yourself out of this trap situation. Once you get yourself out of this trap situation, you will find love again. And this time it will actually be eternal. But the thing is, first, before you can have this eternal love, Pisces, you have to love yourself first. You have to stay optimistic about yourself. You have to believe in yourself. You have to love yourself. You have to care for yourself, you know? You have to believe that everything is working out in your favor. You got enchantment and harmony. Yeah, you need to find something that makes you happy, something that makes you feel very harmonious about life, um, something that just takes your mind off of everything, okay? I went through this exercise with one of the groups in Sagittarius. So I am going to go through this exercise with you. It's something that my friend sent me um, to help me through a troubling time that I was having because I have a lot of worries all the time. I Sometimes I overthink things a lot. I'm an air sign, um, but I do have a Pisces Venus. So there was something that my friend told me to write down and he's like, do this. And like, it was all, 
Okay, so A, you would write down your worries and problems. B, you would write down your current relief methods. And then C, you would write down things to look forward to. So you need, go ahead and write down what your worries, fears, anxieties, or current problems are. Go ahead and write them down in a journal. Get yourself a journal. Write down what your current problems are. Then write down solutions that you have to take your mind off of the, the problem. And then write down what you have to look forward to. And then also write down what you're grateful for in your life. Write down what you're grateful for. I'm getting that you guys are very depressed. You're very emotionally sensitive. I feel like you can also tend to absorb others' emotions as well. And so this is making your emotions more intense. So when you stay around upset people, you're going to become more upset. Um, because Pisces are all usually empaths. They're usually very emotionally sensitive. But right now, what you need to do is kind of breathe and do something for yourself because new opportunities are coming to you. New doorways are opening for you. You know, this is a secret doorway, though. You're not going to see this opportunity coming. It says secret doorway. So you're not going to see this opportunity coming. It's going to arise out of the blue. And right now, all you need to do is take time for yourself and kind of... Take care of yourself right now, okay? That's what you need to do. You need to kind of be at peace with yourself and kind of give yourself the loving care that you need. And then you'll finally find your peace. That's all I've got for you, pile number three. If this resonated, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, Pisces. Bye.